Uh, got some rain thanks to monsoon storms that happened over the weekend. Some of our viewers sending in this video. Uh, neighbors saw so much rain. Streets were flooded in parts of Henderson along with Mountain's Edge. There are a lot of projects that are going on around the valley that actually, though, help control this type of flooding from getting out of control. But that work is still ongoing. It's not quite done valley wide. 8 News Now reporter Sally Hadamio visited some drainages and washes for a look at how far we've come and what we can expect in the future. Sally? Denise, yesterday's storms brought so much rain to the Southern Highlands Park, a creek running really through this walking trail. Aaron Neff with the Regional Flood Control District says there are signs all over that read. You are entering a dual use drainage recreation facility. This area is subject to flash floods. You are reminded to stay away during stormy conditions since there is still drainage issues in this community. Neff says we've had two straight years of non-soon, but this year we are back to normal habits. Although this is typical for those who have lived in the valley for years, she says many people are moving to southern Nevada and must be informed of the dangers. Back in the 70s, she recalls dangerous flooding in the Caesars Palace area and Miracle Mile flooding about 21 years ago. And since the 1980s, they have built 667 miles of channels and storm drains along with 102 detention basins. Despite flooding diminishing, there's still work that needs to be done. So I can tell you in the next 10 years, we, we plan to spend $800 million in flood control to help uh, improve more areas, particularly the fast growing areas of the Southwest, portions of Henderson, Northwest Las Vegas, all areas that are still booming in growth. Neff adds they still have ways to go. So far, they are at 75% finished with their master planning and build out. Neff also says they have plans to install 75 more miles of channel within the next 10 years. Now, for now, reporting live in Southern Highlands, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.